When you are a new cajon player, you are all excited to get started. Then when you sit on the cajon, you have no clue where to start with no plan. That's why this video is for you. I will show you how to put together the best practice routine for your continued progress. The practice session I'm going to show here will take 30 minutes a day. Some people will say, but it's not enough. Yes, it is. If you discipline yourself to do that every day, it will have a great effect to your play. Trust me. The most important is not how long you practice, but how focused and consistent you are when you practice. Before going to the session, some tips to maximize your results. Tip number one, choose the environment. Make sure you are in a calm place where you are less likely to be disturbed. Tip number two, set the time apart. Make a date with your cajon. Turn off your phone notifications and be totally focused on practicing. Tip three, check your posture. You need to be seated comfortably on the cajon with the back straight and your arms relaxed. And tip number four, use a metronome. It's very important to practice with a metronome, especially when you are just starting out. So let's go to the plan. I'm going to divide the practice session in three parts of 10 minutes each. Part number one, you are going to work on patterns you already know. For example, you can take a groove that you already know and check if the pattern is sounding good. All the little details are very important for this part. Ghost note volume, right placement of the hand. To check the details of you playing, I suggest that you film yourself with your phone to check how you are playing the pattern and see what you need to improve. One very important thing is to not speed up. It's common to see a lot of students when they feel confident with a pattern, they speed up without stop, like this. I suggest that you practice the pattern for one, two minutes or more, and then when you want to play faster, stop, think about the pattern faster, or put in the metronome a faster tempo, and go for it. This is what part one is all about, perfecting the things that you already know. Part two. In part one, you spend 10 minutes, let's say, warming up with patterns that you already know. Now is the creative part. Now I'm going to show you how I do that. Let's take a basic groove. And now I start improvising and adding notes an extra bass note, off beat to the left hand, some doubles, And then you have a new pattern created by yourself. I suggest that after you finish this kind of exercise, you stop and write the pattern you have just created. The same thing with fills. I will play three bars of a groove followed by one bar of an improvised fill. This is how you can work on your creativity, improvising new things based in your vocabulary. 
Now the last part of the session, part three. Now is the time to play with music. 10 minutes as well. You are going to choose one or maximum two songs for each day of practice. Playing along with music, backing tracks or your favorite tunes on your phone is one of the most important ways that you are going to practice on the cajon. Let's say that it's like a full body workout. All the grooves and fuse now will take shape inside of the music. You not only play the patterns, but also think about your feel and dynamics when you play it. Because of that, it's very important to practice the patterns and integrate all before you apply with the music. And if you are just starting out, no worries about not sounding good at the beginning. The most important thing for you beginner is to get used to the music environment and play with songs, play and play over and over again. I hope this plan will give a good direction from now on and make your practice more effective. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this practice plan. It's very important for me to know and also if you have suggestions, write down for me. And if you need ideas of grooves and feels to include inside of your practice routine, you can check all the lessons and courses available at cajonmaster.com. Go there now and join for free. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I'll see you next time with another one.